Yo, what's up guys? It's been a little bit here. Oh my god, I just went on a freaking vacation. Let me tell you, I learned a lot. First, let's talk about how how awesome it is to have a free flight just booked for 7,500 points. I mean, let me tell you, damn, did it feel good to get on that United flight that I booked with Turkish Airlines? Just knowing that like, holy shit, this shit was free, bro. Like basically, like 7,500 points. It was really exciting, you know, that that actually worked. Um, shout out to you, whoever it was that mentioned, you can add Turkish Airlines booked United flights using the United app. So if you're not familiar, guys, I just booked a freaking flight to Seattle from New York, and I thought, why not just uh, share my experience on how it all went. I finally went to a lounge. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys know the Jake Mercury YouTube channel, but uh, if you do, you know that uh, I've had priority pass for quite some time here. And uh, unfortunately, your boy's been denied multiple times. That's right. Multiple times when trying to get into freaking lounges. And, and let me tell you, it just, it just grinds my gears quite a little bit. So I was finally able to just, you know, say, fuck, fuck the Venture X, bro. Use my Chase Sapphire Preferred no, reserve, and get into a lounge. And you know what? Oh, this was so worth it, bro. It was such a good experience, man. If, I don't know if you haven't been in a lounge, but dude, like, it's just so nice. I, I, went, I, I was in the S gate of Seattle, SeaTac, and so my experience was, you know, I'm, I'm out and about just in the main area, just in the the concourse with all the flights and all the gates and everything and the food court and people screaming and it's loud and I got my headphones on and honestly the music's just feeling pretty good but as soon as I like take them off and just listen to the crowd like people talking and and just like it just stinks a little bit like feet in there and I'm like oh, this is just stressful you know some things like sometimes you just can't blast music to cover up what your reality is I know that can kind of help with it when it comes to like you know just listening to like listening a little bit but when it comes to like your smell you just can't make the dirty feet smell go away until you press the elevator button all right under the sign that says lounges and so that's exactly what i did i walked around until i found that lounge and it was the club seattle lounge which was honestly a pretty average lounge but guess what it's still a lounge and let me tell you i was excited yo what's up guys i'm in a lounge right now first time ever bro it's kind of fucking weird recording me i'm not gonna lie but yo i'm sipping on some cucumber water right now infused cucumber water it's pretty sick fuck yeah i was so excited that i was almost shaking just giving my QR code for the priority pass just to get in. And then she also asked for my boarding pass, which is pretty easy, guys. It's right on my phone. And so once I scanned uh, my double QR codes, the person let me in. And then I went right I, I, I went right in there and I saw the beautiful lounge that I had always wanted to go to. Not this specific one specifically, but just... just the experience of walking in and just seeing all the comfy chairs, the bliss, the quietness, and just, you know what I mean? It was just a relaxing sensation. And hey, I had to go early to the airport. Want to know why? Well, my sister had a flight an hour ahead of me going to a different location. And my mom was like, Jake? You got to go with her. So, yeah, she, she only wanted to drive once to the airport. So I had to go. But luckily for me, I was met with the Club C. And so I relaxed only after wandering back and forth about five to ten times because I was a little bit excited. And I actually didn't know that you can just drop your backpack off at some random chair. You know, take a second to relax and just leave it there. You can just leave shit there anywhere. I, I mean, this is, this was my experience. Everyone's just leaving their shit everywhere. You can get up, you know, maybe put some slippers on and walk over to the guacamole area, you know, scoop some guacamole on a plate, maybe get some cucumber-infused water, you know what I mean? 
it was nice though. It was really nice. I, I didn't know that clubs were like, uh, so like relaxing, you know, like I think once, once you start to see how these cards, these travel cards make your travel experience just, just that much better. Just, you know, the, the little bits add up, bro. It just adds up. And I kind of, you don't, you don't ever realize that until you do it. And I, and I, I was like, you know, lounges me good. Maybe it'll save me a few dollars on food that I otherwise would have just, you know, bought a couple of McChickens and called it a day at McDonald's. No. All the little pieces of each card come together to form this very, very pleasing travel experience. And I made some tea for myself. Oh, yeah, some nice warm tea. That's exactly what I need because I got the aisle seat. And I can pee all night because I can get up and not have to bother anyone. So I drank all that cucumber-infused water, as much caffeine-free tea as my heart desired. And, and hell, why not, why not get a decaf double espresso shot? I just like the taste. And so my uh, lounge experience was concluded when I boarded the plane back to New York City on JetBlue. And I had to go on a red eye because red eye was the only option for me because I have to work. And guess what? It was just a it was a it was a good experience. Actually, do I really want to get into this? I really don't want to get into this too much. But I, yo, JetBlue is actually better than you think. Huge leg room, okay? They're nice, uh huh. And you get free snacks. You can just walk up. It's like your own living room, kinda. You know, there's a fridge and a pantry in the middle of the plane, and you can just walk right up. But you can only walk up if you're in the back of the plane. If you're in the front of the plane, you can just ask somebody nicely or you'll walk backwards. That's right, I said back to the fridge. That's because you're probably going to be laying down in one of the new, I don't know if it's new, Jet Blue Mint Sweets. That's right. I saw it. I had to walk right past it on my flight back home. Six hours, guys. It's not fun. It's not fun being in economy for six hours. I'm just, you know, I'm starting to get tired of it, okay? Especially when it's overnight. Red eye means, the, it re literally means you get freaking red eyes after the flight. Like, like bro, I, I did that, bro. It, it, it just, my eyes were killing me. I, I'm so tired and delusional, and I just thought it would be so nice to have a jet blue mint sweet cross country. <sighs> You get to lay down. This is the only domestic, lay flat, business class, first class, whatever you want to call it, flight in the U.S. that I know of. Lay flat. Specifically lay flat. And as, and as I sat in my seat right at 7C, looking directly across the aisle, diagonally to that open jet blue mint suite with another one right next to it, both just open in the air. Waiting for the doors to close. I peeking up and looking at the flight attendant, just staring her down, waiting for her to close that door. Because as soon as that door closes, that's right, I'm gonna ask. And what a, what was I gonna ask? Well, I was gonna ask to move to one of those jet blue suites. And then I got a little nervous. I started to shake a little bit. I'm sitting in seven C. This is two two seats into economy, because the first five are your mint suites. And I'm starting to sweat a little bit. It's, it's starting to get hot. And I don't know what's going to happen. And, 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 and as, I, as time goes on, <sighs> here comes two people. Here comes two people. They're walking. They're walking. And guess what they do? They keep on walking right past me, baby. We can still get it if we have the chance. So after those two people go by, I'm still looking at those seats. You know, they're right there. Oh, man, wouldn't it be nice to recline and sit back and relax and have a pillow on your plane to take a nap and go to bed to avoid all the red eyes and the blood vessels that you get with red eyes. And so I started to look it up. I was like, does JetBlue actually move you if you ask? Can you sit in an empty first class seat? Does somebody get upgraded every time? And then I started to remember, oh, 
they probably would have given it to someone with status. And I kind of didn't think about that. I, th- I, I I forgot. I had my eyes on the prize the entire time, and I don't have any JetBlue status, so they're probably not upgrading me first. Plus, they already upgrade that before they know what's going on, if that makes sense, unless these people no-show. But what ended up happening is... That's right. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I, I didn't get it, okay? I wanted it. I didn't get it. And I didn't even ask because... Two people sat right down, and then I started to realize, you know what? I would have been a fool for asking. You can only ask for so much. And honestly, I got excited, man. I got excited to ask, but but it's not gonna, it's not going to do anything. They wouldn't they wouldn't do it. You want to know why? Because the, the the economics behind it. You trust me, guys. They're not going to give you a first class flight, regardless. You know, it's they'll leave it open right in front of your face. Then you have the incentive to just book an economy class and hope just hope that maybe they leave a first class open somebody doesn't book it why would anyone pay four to five to ten times the price for the first class seat if you can just take the gamble on the economy seat and maybe one of the first class is open <sighs> i know i didn't think of that but that's why that's why they don't just move you up they'll leave it open they will they don't care they want to make money they're not going to move you so don't even try I mean, maybe try it. They'll just laugh. They'll probably just laugh in your face. That's probably what, have, what would have happened. But I did ask for two chocolate wafers and pretzels because I like to have all the goods I can get for free. And I got a seltzer, no ice, and no cup because I like the environment and I like seltzer. And that's all I got for today. Maybe I'll take you on a journey. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I got some more to talk about another time, but we'll save it for another time. Take it easy. Bye.